Hi, my name is Isabella Lubin, and I'm a Senior Program Manager on Microsoft Teams. And I am Lukas Stankiewicz, and I am a Senior Developer on Microsoft Teams. And today we're going to be talking about app policies for Teams. So let's get started. Today we're talking about new ways that you can manage applications within Microsoft Teams. We've recently released a set of controls that allow you to govern the applications that your users have access to and allow you to promote specific applications for your users so you can ensure that they're going to leverage those within their daily work. The app permission policies and org-wide settings allow you to block and allow applications either across your entire organization or for specific users. The sideloading policies allow you to control which users can upload custom applications into Teams. And the app setup policies allow you to customize your users' app experiences and promote specific applications that your organization makes use of on a regular basis. Before we jump into a demo, let's look quickly at the Microsoft Teams policy model. Policies can be applied across your entire organization or assigned to individual users. Quick note, unless there's a separate configuration, guest users in your organization are always going to get the default policy. So let's take an example. You, if you create two custom policies, custom policy A and custom policy B, and then you have a default policy, you can go through and assign those custom policies to specific users. Those users will always get this experience that you've defined that's governed by those custom policies. Any other user in the organization is going to fall back to the default policy that you've set up. Now let's jump into the demo. Take it away, Lucas. Okay, so the first step that I will show is Modern Portal um, and the new section under Teams Apps called Permission Policies. Permission Policies is where you can see all of the policies across the organization. The one we're going to focus on first is the global um, org wide default. And inside here, you are able to block certain Microsoft apps, third-party apps, tenant apps. Um, there is also another section here called org-wide app settings. Inside this section, you will find um, the ability to turn off all third-party apps, the ability to turn off custom apps, which are also known as uh, sideloaded apps, and then you can block each app on a tenant level. So the next section we're going to go to is called the App Setup Policies. Similar to the App Permission Policies, this is where you see all your policy. We also gave a lot more um, power now to the administrator to disable and enable custom apps. These are also known as the sideloaded apps. This setting controls whether a user can upload the apps and whether they can manage the apps. There is an org-wide setting that controls whether everybody in the organization can interact with the apps or not. The other things in here that we have are the pinning of apps and some of the apps that you see here, for example, this one is an LOB, tenant level application. The admin is now able to pin this so that the user can see it in their client um, and increase the visibility into their apps as well as customize their client to their own use. The next step that I'm going to show you is how does all of this tie together. So when a tenant admin comes in and looks at their users, we have somebody, for example, called a DAO. And then we can see what policies are assigned to the user. Right alongside all the other team's policies, there's app permission policy and app setup policy. If we go to manage this user, we can see in here each policy that they're assigned. And then we can see what the policy itself actually is. For example, Adele's permission policy disables all of the third-party applications. This means that her store view and everything else in the client will not be able to see any third-party apps. And then the only app that's allowed for them from the tenant catalog is the commute and shuttles one. If we switch to the client, this is Adele joined in and logged in, we can see that if we go to their sidebar, commute and shuttle is pinned as per the admin's requirement. And then if we go to the app store, we can see that their app list is highly reduced down to only the first party apps and there are no third party apps present in here. Another interesting tidbit is now the button that used to be here to upload sideloaded side custom apps is missing due to the fact that the policy itself has it blocked in the app setup policy. So just to verify that that is in fact the policy that Adele was assigned, if we go back to her user and manage her policies and then take a look at the app setup policy, it is the no side loading policy 
and clicking here it'll take us directly into the policy document itself which has allow, allows uploading custom apps as disabled. So the next step I'm going to show you is the client as it is viewed by Lucas who is an admin and has a different policy assigned to them. Um, if we go to users and we find Lucas and then look at the policies we will see that they basically have the global org-wide permission policy and the global org-wide app setup policy. The one thing in here that's different from Adele, um, besides the third-party apps being on, is that Lucas is able to, allow, to upload custom apps. If we go to the client view, uh, we can see that once we go to the store, Lucas can see all of the apps. There's a lot more in here now. And then if we scroll down to the bottom here, he is also able to upload a custom app into himself or his teams. So as Lucas just demonstrated, these new ways of managing applications allow you to decide which applications your users should have access to and which applications you want to promote for your users per user. So you're no longer saying this is what's allowed or promoted within my entire organization. You're deciding what your users need to do based off of the job functions that they need to perform within your organization. The app permission policies and the org-wide settings give you high-level controls for blocking or allowing applications. The side-loading policies let you decide which users should be uploading custom apps and playing around with these different integrations within Microsoft Teams. And the app setup policies let you customize your users' in-application experience and let you decide which applications are most important to show up in the app bar. So to get started with using these application policies for yourself, there are a number of different sources of documentation. You can go to the Microsoft Teams admin training. You can access resources like FastTrack or aka.ms slash successwithteams or slash Microsoft adoption. And you can read some in-depth admin documentation about overall management of applications within Teams and specific guidance about how to use the setup and the permission policies for managing Microsoft Teams. So as a reminder, once again, I am Lucas, and I hope that you enjoyed our demonstration of app setup and permission policies. And I'm Isabella. Thanks for watching.